There are a few different ways you can invoice your clients with GeoOp, depending on your business processes. GeoOp is a simple job management solution that is focused on jobs. It does not include invoicing. Instead, it passes the billable line items off a job to your preferred invoicing system. So firstly, you'll need to decide how you'd like to invoice your clients, whether it's through Xero, FreshBooks, MYOB, or another invoicing system you are already using. To enable an integration, click on the icon of your chosen service below. For this demo, we have chosen Xero. We simply click on the Xero icon and check the box to enable Xero. When we save this, it will then take us through to our Xero login, where we associate it with the Xero account we want integrated. It's as easy as that. With Xero, you can also import in your parts and clients to help with the GeoOp setup. Each integration differs slightly, but they are all easy to implement. You can invoice from any device you use GeoOp on. To invoice on the smartphone or tablet device, you go into the job you want to invoice for. You add on the actuals for the charges and parts you would like to invoice for, if they haven't been added already, by clicking on the plus button on the top right and selecting the time and parts. Here, we're going to add on a call-out fee and some joint sealant and a valve. These time and part charges can be synced across from integrations or importing into GeoOp for greater quoting and invoicing efficiency. Make sure the charges you want invoiced are indicated as being billable. Once you have the appropriate charges stacked up, go to the Create Document button and click on Invoice. In this case, we are integrating with Xero Accounting System. Clicking on Invoice sends the line items that we have marked as billable through to the accounting system, where it will complete all the tax calculations and general ledger updates. It then sends a PDF of the invoice straight back to GeoOp and automatically attaches it to the job. You can view the invoice while out in the field and email it straight from the tablet or smartphone device to the client, increasing your invoicing efficiency and decreasing your payment time. Depending on how you'd like your invoicing handled and by whom, office workers can also invoice from the web console. You can filter through the job lists by jobs that are ready to invoice and then go through and invoice the ones necessary. For quick reference, on the job list screen, jobs with a dollar sign have unbilled line items on them. Once you select the job, if you click on the Time and Parts tab, you can see the items that are to be invoiced. Depending on your invoicing procedure or arrangement for this client, you can simply tick or untick the items you would like to invoice for. Great if you're doing multiple invoices for one job. By doing so, you can see that this changes the job profitability calculations down the bottom as well. You can also see the profit and loss calculations as well. Again, as we are invoicing with zero, you can choose to create a draft or approved invoice. Once we select to invoice for the job on any device, the invoice will be attached to the job as a PDF document, so you can always access it from any device you use GeoOp with. If we go back to the Time and Parts tab, you can also see that these items are now static and indicated as being invoiced, so they can't be re-invoiced. We've just invoiced a single job. However, we can also bulk invoice with GeoOp. Go to the invoicing screen from the top header, and it's going to show every job with billable line items on it. To make it more useful, you can use the status tabs to filter through, and you can choose to exclude a particular job or line item. You can choose to invoice by job or by client, if you choose to invoice by client, it will consolidate all the jobs on a single invoice and it will list the jobs out and the items with a single total. As we've got our integration with Xero, we can send it out to Xero for them to calculate the tax, and we can even send it as an approved invoice. In any of these instances, if you were bulk invoicing, invoicing for a single job, or if you don't have an integration enabled, this will create a CSV export file for you to upload into your invoicing or accounting system.